Hey boys and girls, this is Wild Man Wolves here. I'm doing a review of AEW's All Out. And it was a four hour show. Most of the matches was pretty good. The match that I could have done without the Dark Order, the just gimmick is just lame and corny. They don't look nothing dark. It just look like a whole bunch of cosplayers in the ring, which I don't care too much for. I just ain't understand the logic of seeing them in the ring. That it was, it's just corny. I hope they don't put the tag team titles on them. And you had the Young Bucks versus the Lucha Bros in the ladder match. They was trying to kill each other Do that. Oh, thing. Left and right, the Bucks, Phoenix, and Pentagon Jr., they was on there. Tables, ladders, chairs. Oh, my. They was just trying to wreck each other on their joint. It was almost like they didn't really care about the titles. They was just going in there to try to kill each other. So, the Lucha Bros ended up winning the match, so that was a Cool to see. So I don't know if they're going to stay in AEW or what, because they wrestle on MOW and Triple A. So we, a lot, a lot of people kind of knew going in that Nala Rose is going to win the Battle Royal. I knew she was going to win it. A lot of people was thinking it was Kong because she's a bigger name. But they trying to build AEW stars, and she's one of the unique stars that's right now in the women's division. I know she's a just transgender person. A lot of people say it's unfair because it's basically a man wrestling a whole bunch of women in the ring, which is very ignorant. I'm not going to go over my soapbox on that, but... Common sense was set to tell you that she probably gonna end up winning the um, women's title, especially it's gonna be in her hometown of DC. So we'll see how that works. They had the match between the two Japanese girls and the one that usually partners with Kenny Omega end up winning a match. Pretty good match, hard kicks, hard punches, the Joshi style of wrestling. That's how it is. Just two girls trying to kill each other in the ring. Pac and Kenny Omega had a great match. I was thinking that Omega was going to win, but Omega kept on trying to go for that damn wing eagle and relied too much on that V-trigger. So maybe they tell the story that he might have to switch his stuff up, but I was so glad Pac won because he deserved it. For people who don't know who Pac is, it's Neville from WWE. That was his original name. So, cool match, cool match. Cody versus Sean Spears was a pretty good match. I know a lot of people was bummed that MGF wasn't in the match, in a match. But save him for later when he turns on Cody. So, that's probably what's going to end up happening sooner or later. Got a special event, appearance by Arn Anderson. Doing this spine buster on Dag on um, Spears at one point, so that was cool to see. Tully Blanchard out there causing chaos and disorder. It's all <laughs> that was funny. Um, I was thinking that Paige was going to end up winning the match, but it was smart for them to have Jericho be their first champion because he's an established name. A lot of people don't know Paige yet. I know a lot of people like Jericho. Oh, he shouldn't be the champion. But you need people to know AEW. And the best thing to do, put it on somebody that a lot of people already know, Chris Jericho. And then everybody will get used to everybody else on the roster because they know who Chris Jericho is. That's why they did it the way they did. So, one of the mainstays at AEW will end up getting that title and it would be important because they beat 
a veteran like Jericho. You had the Jurassic Express versus SCU. That was a cool match. Little Marco stunt running around doing what he can. You know, sometimes it don't look believable sometimes, but oh well. Wrestler takes all different shapes and sizes. So, I can say that. I'm not an Orange Cassidy fan. People get him. I don't get him. I think he's corny. But I guess he's part of the best friends now. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, best friends had a decent match. And yeah, it was pretty good. All in all, AEW will take up uh, their new show, The All Out. It was pretty good. They corrected a lot of stuff. The commentary team was much better. Alvarez sucked on commentary. So I'm glad they got rid of him. Golden Boy, Excalibur, uh, great. Jim Ross still got to work on his getting people's names done right. He was kind of a little off a little bit, but once he get on regular TV, get his rhythm back and getting to know everybody's names and the flow of everything, he'll do pretty good. I know some people was complaining about the referee was getting too much shine in the match, which is kind of true in the title match. Referee should be invisible during the match, but since she was the first woman they claim she was the first woman to referee a major title match. I think she was a little bit in, too much into the match. A little bit too animated. But maybe they'll calm that down a little bit too. All in all, All Out was an excellent show. I don't, I just um, didn't really have too much complaints just other than a couple of nitpicks here and there. But all in all, it was a pretty good show. This is Wild Man Will signing off. See you next time.